Imagine a battlefield scenario in which you were able to understand everything that was going on around you in real time without having to see it. Human beings lie to each other predominantly through their eyeballs. What they see is what they assume is to be reality. However, we know, even through all sorts of persistent video surveillance, that we can be fooled. A bridge that looks fine from above may turn out to be not sound for military traffic once you get there because you're unable through overhead assets to be able to understand what's going on underneath. That is predicated on what something appears, not how it behaves. If we can shift the paradigm from appearance to behavior of targets or structures of interest, we can revolutionize the way that we actually access and utilize our battlefield. In order to do so, we have to shift from visual perception to more holistic measures of understanding behaviors of these targets. For example, the way a bridge behaves is very different than it necessarily appears, but behavior is what dictates soundness, strength, and performance. But luckily, a bridge behaves in a way that allows it to be monitored through acoustic means, specifically infrasound. Infrasound is sub-audible acoustics. Anything below 20 hertz is considered to be infrasound. Human beings cannot perceive it directly, even though sometimes we can feel the vibrations in our chest, like bass in a car. But what we can do is mod uh, measure it using microphones called microbarographs or infrasound gauges. The particularly interesting thing about infrasound is because of the low frequencies, it propagates tens to hundreds to thousands of kilometers away from your source or target of interest without losing any of the characteristics that make that source unique. Infrasound is one of the four monitoring technologies for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, including seismic, radionuclide, and hydroacoustic. It is the property of these low frequencies that allow you to cover the globe with a few set of sensors to understand whether there's illicit nuclear testing going on. For the Army's case, we're not interested in nuclear explosions, per se. We're interested in being able to understand these other sources that emanate infrasound at greater distances than are available through traditional audible acoustics or visual means. Because infrasound sensing does not rely upon line of sight in any way, shape, or form, and essentially functions like an over-the-horizon acoustic detection system at great distances, any sources that are of interest to the Army such as large infrastructure performance and behavior, like dams, bridges, urban infrastructure in general, or even large vehicles, impulsive point sources like mortar fire locations for launch and impact, can be monitored at great distances of tens to possibly hundreds of kilometers, depending on the source. If we have persistent monitoring arrays set up, we're able to tell the behavior of a structure over large spans of time. These arrays are compact and portable. They are man-portable, man-assembly, and are completely self-powered. They can transmit data over radio or cell phone or fiber, or just be completely dark if you don't want anyone to know that you're listening. And the data that comes from these SIAM arrays is compatible with all of the Army's common operating systems. The wholly government-owned software system that operates a SIAM array decimates the data that is brought into a manageable alert format. Those alerts are then transmitted to the ISA-approved common operating picture operated by the Army. This allows the soldier to rapidly digest pictorial information or very small texturing alerts that are of critical importance at that moment. In this way, we've allowed soldiers to actually take the information in a real-time fashion and change the way that they do battle. Because of this, you can utilize this information to protect soldiers' lives or in a more offensive means if you needed to directly uh, interdict something that was going to be a problem in the near future.